What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Harrison, and today we are talking about the Nintendo Switch 2. I'm sure you guys are sick of people talking about it without any sort of um, concrete uh, information, but that's not what this video is for. We're not going to talk about rumors. I'll, I'll leave it up to, to other content creators to to do that research because that's that stuff is really cool to find out but in this video we're going to talk about kind of what i want from a switch to if they go that route we don't even know for sure if it's going to be called the switch 2 or the super switch or whatever it is it could be something completely different um th you know think something like going from like the gamecube to like the wii where it was just totally different um in terms of like you know, it wasn't it wasn't just a GameCube too? It was it was something completely different? Um, you know, the Switch, the 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 Wii to Wii U, um, pretty pretty similar. Um, you know, outside of the, obviously the the, the gamepad was the big difference, but it was pretty much a Wii, um, at that point that obviously could do HD. But yeah, we don't we don't know for sure what this, they're going to do with the Switch, and uh, yeah, I want to uh to dive into that discussion with you guys. So let's let's just Google. Um, we're we're gonna Google here. Nintendo Switch to go down to images. And yeah, we, we've gotten a lot of mock-ups, like concepts that people have came up with here. Um, and yeah, I mean, look look at some of this stuff. I mean, you, you got... While it's cool in design, I, you know, obviously, you know, obviously stuff like this is just... It, it, it isn't, it isn't going to be this. Um, let's see. This is like the one I've seen pop up the most out of a specifically like YouTube channels using this as like their as their thumbnail. Um, cool design, but again, a folding screen that it doesn't look like, you know, kind of looks like the, the Galaxy Fold. Um, I don't I'm not a big fan of that design. Uh, I, w I would prefer something if they're going to do something like that. I, I would prefer like a like a clamshell like the DS, um, which you know it it could be, it could be a really cool idea to have a clamshell, um, foldable screen. But if it's still gonna be like dockable and stuff like that, um, that's, you know you're gonna have a big you know you're gonna have a it's gonna be thicker, so it's gonna be kind of, it's gonna be kind of hard to 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 make that and make it dockable. Um, but although yeah, I, I think a folding a folding screen could be cool because that's that's what I loved about the Wii U being able to, um, <clears throat> or, or excuse me, the, the DS and being able to, uh, have that, you know, you could have like your map or something on the, the bottom screen and then have like the, the regular game on the, on the top screen. Um, it was the DS was the 3DS specifically was, was beautiful for, for like, um, you know, Ocarina of Time being able to go into the menu like that. And then the Wii U obviously had some really cool designs that we just can't get on the switch just because you can't play it. It's either you play on the TV or you don't. Um, so yeah, cool, some cool designs, right, that that are, are probably pretty unrealistic. I think this is like the newest one that I saw, um, which it, it appears to, let me uh, let me zoom in a little bit on here. Let's bring it down. Yeah. So this is like the newest design and, and it appears to be like like a sliding, like a sliding screen, um, which is looks this this one probably looks the most like a like a ds or 3ds uh, i think that could be really cool uh again i don't see i don't see nintendo going that route of a dual screen um again just i feel like it, they wouldn't make it be able to make it thin enough for it to uh be dockable assuming you know assuming that we need a dock you know we, we may be able to just plug it in who knows i'm assuming a dock is gonna be needed but um so let's, let's zoom out of that so yeah let's i think i think that's mainly all the ones that I wanted to look at um yeah I mean there's there's some other kind of crazy designs but but yeah well um so yeah I what I want from a switch to again assuming it's going to be a switch to it's going to be the same form factor all that stuff we're going to be we're going to be docking everything um I've seen a, I've seen a couple of mock-ups where there's like four or five different uh card slot like cartridge slots i don't i don't think nintendo's gonna go that route i think we're gonna i think we're just gonna have the one uh, i don't think it makes sense to have four or five but i i do i would like obviously we, we've got that that new i don't remember what it's called but we've got that new 
cartridge device coming at some point this year for the Switch, where you can you can put multiple games into. I think that's how it's work. I think that's how it works. And there there are some third party docks that do that as well. Um, so it would be nice for Nintendo to just have that included into the to, into their next dock. Um, and the, the dock itself, I mean, it's. I don't know if I need it to be anything more than what it is, but. I mean, because like the dock, I think it adds like just a slight bit more power to the switch, um, but like, but not enough to like for it to be like a feature, like like a like oh you've got to play, you know, you've got to play on, you got to play this docked. Like most most games run just about the same docked versus being a handheld. So, and I I don't know if I would necessarily want the dock to have that much more power over the base switch. Um, yeah, I don't I don't want to feel that I have to play docked versus undocked. Um, so I, yeah, so the, the dock is, the dock is very interesting because I, I kind of like the minimal design to it. I, you know, with the, with the OLED dock, we got, you know, we got the, the ethernet port so we can plug it into the internet if we want to versus Wi-Fi and make the, make the download speed a lot faster. Um, I think that would be cool. I, again, I don't, I don't think I need much more, out of the dock. I mean, it's got it's got two USB ports, you know, on the side. So it, I mean, you got your you can charge your controllers and stuff like that. So um, I think I think that's pretty cool already. I think the I think the dock is fine if they if they go that route again. Now, for, as of the, the switch itself, I I don't know. I I hate the way you use the word gimmick because a gimmick seems like it's like a a negative phrase to use. But like what? What could the next thing be? Is it is it just going to be you know a more powerful switch, uh, maybe maybe a bigger screen? Um, obviously, I think I think we want those those Joy Con. I I don't love the Joy Cons, um, so maybe if they could make those just better, maybe, maybe slightly bigger. Um, again, it, it's hard because they they have to be detachable. Um, so yeah, it's it's hard to, it's 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 hard to like determine what you want, right? Um, I think yeah, just make making them a little bit more comfortable, um, you know, making the sticks better. I, I actually give us a D pad and the next uh and the next Joy Cons would be would be awesome. Um, and then yeah, I, I think obviously the drift has got to go. I, I, you know, I don't know how they get rid of that other than switching the sticks. So I, I think it's the the hall sensing sticks, um, which I think I I don't know exactly how they work, but I think it has has something to do with like magnetics um where it's where it, it's, it literally, they literally cannot drift um so yeah that that's got to be a thing luckily i haven't had a huge problem with with stick drift um on my switch i think i think my my base red and blue ones are starting to get the drift a little bit um but it hasn't been a huge issue so that that's been pretty lucky for for me um yeah i, I think I, I would i would love for them to continue on the the OLED screen, I don't know if they are just because of pricing, but I fully expect the next switch to be four hundred dollars. You know, I, I don't think it's going to be as cheap as the switch is now. Um, yeah, and I also don't know if we're gonna they're gonna stick with the light either. You know, it's it's hard to determine. I mean, they they could maybe in terms of value. If the dock isn't going to change that much, they could have a um, a version where they don't include a dock, and then you just buy the switch, and then you're you could play you know you play the new switch with the with the old dock, um, assuming there's not going to be any changes and they don't need extra power coming from the dock, because um, I think someone did um, a teardown, and I think the dock itself is actually can actually perform 4K. Uh, I, I could be wrong, but I thought I, I saw someone do a teardown of the of the OLED dock, and they and it could do that output. So again, could be wrong. Um, yeah, this, if if they're going to go with a Switch Two version, I don't want to see much change with the the look of the Switch itself. I think the Switch itself looks great. Obviously, a little bit bigger screen. I I love the kickstand with the OLED. I think that works great. Um, the cartridge slot is just fine. I don't need. I don't need multiple cartridge slots. Uh, I think that just will just take too much room up on the Switch itself. Um, yeah, I think the Joy-Cons is probably the biggest thing that I wanted to see changed. And then as far as like, I mean, obviously we want more powerful, you know, more powerful hardware, but 
as far as like the OS goes, I'm I'm good. I'm I think I'm okay with um the OS itself. I would obviously like different themes like you could on the 3DS, like having like a, the Ocarina of Time theme or um, some other theme like on there that actually makes sounds from the game on on that was was really was really cool. And I'm I'm surprised they never did that with the Switch. That that kind of baffled me a little bit. Um, but the eShop, the eShop has got to change. I mean, we we know it's not like it's not on the OS itself. It's actually a a browser that you access on the Switch. So that's why it's. Sometimes it has slow slow connection speed. Some, that's why sometimes it's slow when you're actually in the shop itself. Um, they've got to have like the shop built into the OS because the the eShop is is pretty terrible. Um, and then we, I think we we got that graphic not too long ago where um, you know Nintendo planned on being able to to transfer your your account um, to the next generation. So I I don't have any worries with that transferring over. Um, and I, and I don't think I have any worries about backwards compatibility. I think that's going to be just built into the Switch. I think I think there's no way that they can not have it at this point. There's so many like every gaming company um, has backwards ca- compatibility in some way. Obviously, I think Xbox is probably the best with that, with their with their smart program, um, the smart um, delivery program that they have. Uh, I think that's probably the best out of out of the big three. But um, yeah. I think I think the backwards compatibility uh, compatibility will definitely be there. So, yeah, I again, this is not a rumors video or anything like that. I, I didn't want to talk about the rumors, um, you know, because there I swear there's a new rumor every every single day. Uh, but I just want to talk about my thoughts and what I want and expect from the Switch. I'm not expecting a crazy uh, design change. I'm, I'm just expecting something maybe a little bit sleeker. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if they could make the switch even thinner. Uh, that could be a possibility, but, um, but yeah, I'm excited. You know, we uh, again, we could we could be getting something in January, if not, probably in February with with their their typical February direct. But um, yeah, we're not too far away from that, and I am very excited to get my hands on the next the next iteration iteration of Switch, the next the next big thing from Nintendo, and uh, you know be excited because gaming is always is always fun um and hardware is is you know, we, we don't get it a ton right we don't we don't get a ton of new hardware all the time so when we when we finally do get it and it's been seven years since uh coming up on the switch's seventh birthday um it was kind of wild to to think about but it's been a great run and but i'm excited for what's next so let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you i'm sure you guys are as excited as i am about the switch too do you think it'll be called the Switch 2 Super Switch? Do you think it's going to be something completely different that nobody expects? Um, let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'll let YouTube algorithm pick one of my videos below for you guys to watch. Give it a, give it a click, and I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next video.